Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a brand new product that claims to solve the number one problem people tell me they have with these snap style rat traps. Comment down below if you've had this happen to you. You place bait on the pedal, you set the trap, and when you come back in the morning, the bait is gone, but there's no dead rat or mouse. They somehow took the bait without getting caught. Now this scenario can be a very common problem. I've caught it on my motion cameras many times. The rats are so cautious, they carefully go up to the trap, they smell the bait, but they know something's wrong. So what they do is they carefully take the bait, but they never put downward pressure on the trigger. So the trap doesn't go off and they get a free meal. One new product designed to fix this problem is called Bait Cage. It's an attachment to the standard rat traps and it makes the rat work for the bait. That way they can't steal it. Now in the past, I have tried other techniques like using a hot glue gun to secure the bait to the trigger and that worked well. But using Bait Cage might be an easier way to solve this problem. And when you buy it online, it comes in a convenient three pack. Here's what it looks like. We'll go ahead and open this up. We have three bait cages. It's kind of like a black soft rubber. And it also comes with a bait, a small pack of Nutella, the hazelnut chocolate spread. I love this stuff and so does the rats. The way you install it is it fits over the trigger just like this. There's that tab that sticks up. They also have these on the metal triggers and there's a hole in back. We'll go ahead and slide that on. There we go, that's secure, and any rat that wants the bait will have to jiggle the trigger and lift it up, and they're more likely to get caught. I'll go ahead and peel off the Nutella. Oh, that looks so good. And we're gonna place some on the bait cage, pushing it through the holes. We'll do more than that, be generous. Even if they spend time licking the chocolate, they're gonna want the stuff underneath and pull that with their teeth. Now we can go ahead and set the trap. Watch your fingers. This has a firm and sensitive setting. I'll put it on the firm setting. That way when the rat comes along and tries to get the bait, it can lick it off gently, but eventually it will pull on the bait cage and it'll get smashed on its head. Now I do want to test out the bait cage in the barn, but I have to be very careful with what I show on YouTube. In the past, YouTube's been pretty generous handing out strikes, and I don't want that on my channel. So instead, I'm going to do some rat trap bungee jumping. We're not going to kill the rats, they're still going to take the bait, but we're going to give them a good scare. Let me show you what we're going to do. So here's our YouTube policy approved rat trap. A trap that doesn't go down all the way, so it won't kill the rats, but we still get to test out the trigger. They're going to get quite a fright. I'll go ahead and set this. Ooh. That way when the rat comes along and takes the bait, its head is just fine. But the trap does jump up so much, I think I'm gonna screw it to the floor so it doesn't do a backflip. Now our test rat trap seems pretty foolproof. We'll go ahead and set it for the barn. You really gotta watch your fingers. If you're not careful, you could get them smashed. Ooh, good thing it had that string. Let's go set up the motion cameras to test out the bait cage trigger system and see what happens with the rats. Well, those are some of the luckiest rats that I've ever featured on my channel, but I do need to explain something. This was actually the second night I had to film the action. Now you'll notice that the kill bar is straight up and down, and that's because the string is shorter than what I did in the intro. If I was a bungee jumping instructor, I would have had a major problem, and that is I misjudged the safe zone. What happened is the kill bar on the first night went a little too far and hit the rats in the head, and they died stone cold. It worked really well, but I couldn't show it on YouTube. The bait cage worked well, the rats pulled the trigger and got caught, but they died. So I had to reset it with a shorter string, and this time on the second night, the rats pushed down on the pedal before they could really chew on it. 
So pretty much the bait cage worked extremely well, but there is one flaw. The rats will chew on it if you don't kill them. Like a second rat comes, even if there's a dead rat in there, it will want the bait and chew it up. So it's pretty much a one-time use if you have multiple rodents. If you're only dealing with one rat, you could reuse it, but they like the soft plastic in the bait and they'll chew it to tiny little fragments. I couldn't even find the rest of the bait cage. But if you're dealing with a very smart rat, that might give you the edge for them to pull the trigger just enough to get caught. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who have sent me art. I love seeing the pictures. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.